Hi, this is Nupur from Gyan Vatika, and today's topic of discussion is threads from operating system. Now, let us see what are threads. To understand threads, we will start with a small example, right? Suppose we have to build a game, and in that game, we have to perform two tasks. First task is that bubbles are flowing upwards, right? And the second task is that we have to hit the bubbles. So bubbles are flowing from down to up, and from the sides word we are we have to hit the bubble. So it is our game. So if we have to make this game, we have to write a program to make this game. We have to see that these two tasks, bubble flowing and hitting bubbles, should be performed simultaneously, right? So these two tasks have to be performed simultaneously. So how these two tasks will be performed simultaneously? Now suppose if it is this whole game is a process and we will make two functions for these two tasks, then we have to call each function at a time. We can only call one function at a time. So only one task can be performed at a time. But if we want these two tasks to be performed at the same time, then these uh, then this will not be possible. Now suppose if we will make these two as a process. If we will make the this one as a process, this two as a process, then this whole big process, the context switching between these small processes will take too long. Now, if what if we will do, if we will make these two tasks as a threads, as a thread one and a thread two, then our task will be easier. How? Suppose basically threads are. lightweight processes in which switching between one task to another is very fast very fast means the switching between one task to another is so fast that people seems that the two tasks are running simultaneously so what is the need of threads the need of the thread is that if we want to achieve parallelism in our programs then threads are very useful in one single process there can be as many threads as we want means if we want many tasks to be performed simultaneously then we can write the coding of that task in different 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 threads means these the this one task bubbles are flowing up upwards we will write in one thread and hit the bubble we will write in another thread and these two tasks can be performed simultaneously then right so basically a thread is a path of execution within a process right and a process can contain multiple threads also this is an example of a single thread this is whole is a process and in this whole process there is a single thread and you can this is the code of that thread basically thread has many things but the things which one thread share uh, do not share with another thread suppose there is a uh, process in which there are two threads then these things are uh, of each thread right these things are not shared what are these things first is program counter program counter basically keeps track of the instruction to execute next right and the register is what register holds current working variables and stack it contains execution history right so data and files is being shared between all the threads of one process but the register counter stack are not shared means if there are two threads in this task 1 and task 2 thread 1 and thread 2 then register stacks and counter will be uh, will not be shared between these two threads right it it will have its own uh, counter register and stack and this thread will have its own counter register and stack but these two can shares data and files data and files are shared between these two threads so basically thread is a lightweight process right so what are the these are the certain exam uh, advantages of thread uh, thread minimize the context switching time use of threads provide concurrency within a process efficient communication it is more economical to create and context switch with uh, threads threads that will allow utilization of multi processor architectures to a greater scale and efficiency if you have any doubt you can write us in the comment section below 
For more videos, you can subscribe us to Gyan Vatika. Thank you.